Greetings, YouTube. If you watch my Marvel Contest of Champions YouTube channel regularly, you know I love two things a lot. Well, besides chocolate cake. Uh, I love feedback, and I love data. And I was uh, pretty surprised how many of you that consider yourself to be in-game players. What do I mean by that? Well, people who are looking to mainly now rank up six stars to get the materials it takes to do that, especially once six stars get to rank two. So when I talk about in-game players, I'm specifically talking about people who look at their six-star roster and who say, hey, I want to take this Emma Frost to rank two. But then I also want to do what it takes to take uh, Ghost to rank three. And then on top of that, I want to throw some more six stones into my six star Aegon. And I've heard from several of you who have told me that you have the items that you got for, say, 100% completing and exploring the Abyss, but you don't have anybody to use them on. You don't have anybody worthy of that tier five skill catalyst or that tier five tech catalyst. I could go on and on, right? And so part of the frustration, because I hear also every day from people who want to boycott the game or who think a boycott's a total joke and it's a completely overused word that should never be used except on emergency circumstances like say July 4th. But regardless, um, this time it felt like the people who wanted to make some kind of boycott were the quote unquote whales at the top. They're the people who are used to spending the most money and fighting in the most difficult of not only Alliance War, but especially in the case of the Corvus timeout issue, Alliance Quest. And so if you're one of those people and you go to today's deals, you're kind of scrolling through waiting for the deal that applies to you. And generally, you get here and then you'd scroll one more to the right and you'd see a deal for $99.99. And it would include some six-star shards, maybe, a, a, say, 100 six-star shards per day. And it would include a five-star signature stone that's generic. And maybe, if you're lucky, like a six-star signature stone crystal. Not a generic. Definitely don't anticipate that being uh, offered anytime soon, given the price range of what we've seen in the past couple months for the inflation of signature stones in general. And that includes five stars as well. But, you know, you scroll to the right, and it's done, right? It's over. Now you've got this coming back, and you got the Cavalier Daily, but, but that's it. So... The $99.99 priced deal, quote-unquote, is gone for the month of June. And it's funny to me because I say that and people are like, well, good. Kabam shouldn't expect anyone to pay $100 for anything. And I hear all the time uh, people in the comments especially who are like, I wouldn't pay more than $5 on this. It's a mobile game. And for those of you who, who talk about that, time is money. So, quote-unquote, deals serve two purposes. They say, hey, you could get all this for free over the course of a month of doing Alliance Quest and Alliance War and Arena, or you could give us 50 bucks and you could get this all right now. Of course, in this case, it is over the course of a month because it's logged in every day. But you don't have to do any fights for this. You pay us the money and we'll just drop these items into your inbox, assuming you log in at least once a day every day, which you know, if you play the game every day, you're going to do that. But the other thing about the quote-unquote deals that it does is that it rewards you when you enjoy the game for multiple hours a day. And so whenever you're purchasing something, I don't care if it's a cup of coffee or a deal in a mobile game, you have to ask how often am I going to use this purchase? That's why people say all the time that a car and a house are two of the most important purchases you make because in theory, you're gonna drive that car every day and you're gonna live in that house every day. And so you're gonna use that purchase every day. Compare that to like a wedding dress that somebody spends three grand on and wears one day in their life. That was a $3,000 one day purchase. If you spend 50 bucks and that helps get your champ up to a certain rank and you use that champion multiple hours a day every day, that's a good purchase because it values the time after the purchase and utilizes that uh, cost demand analysis, if you will. So the big question, and, and the title of this video is going to be something about this, but does Kabam have a plan when it comes to deals for in-game players? We've seen that mainly right now, for those of you who are Cavalier, they wait and say, hey, give us $400 worth of units and we'll give you a Tier 5 Class Catalyst Fragment Crystal 
that's a huge gamble. Or we're going to give you a couple of six-star signature stones and five-star signature stones for $100 or $50. But keep in mind, the other thing that I, that's really worth discussing about this is that we have a future now in which we are not far off. And who knows, July 4th might be the first time we see anything like this because sometimes Kabam has a history of introducing this. And that's why the Glory Store changes have been made to clear the new space for uh, a small chunk of chance to get a Tier 3 Alpha Catalyst Fragment or a Tier 6 Basic Catalyst Fragment. These super huge Jenga-looking like crazy things in the top right, they're coming to the game in the next year, if not sooner. It's going to happen. So, in the meantime, Kabam knows that in-game players need not one but two Tier 5 Class Catalysts of the same class to take that six star to, dare I say it, rank four. Along with the usual high, huge amount of tier five basic, which is five, and then tier six basic. And, keep, and look at the tier six basic. When tier five basic first came out, you needed two to take a five star to rank five, which is a lot. Well, tier six aren't even out yet, and you're saying you don't need one, you don't need two, you need three tier six basic to take that six star to rank four. That's a crazy amount. You almost need as many tier six basic as tier five basic, even though tier five basic have been around for a while now in the game. So my overall takeaway from this video that I want to stress is that if Kabam doesn't want to keep losing their in-game customers, because let's be real, if you've 100% completed all content in the game and you keep doing Alliance War and Alliance Quest over and over again, unless there's a radically new feature that's going to pique your interest, it feels like you're on the hamster wheel and you've been on the hamster wheel for five or six years and you've essentially beaten the game and you don't want to start over with seven stars, but at the same time, you want there to be fun and challenging new content that gives you some of these rewards and you don't have to pay $400 for a fragment crystal. So Kabam, I would highly encourage your marketing team to not only bring back some of the things we saw last year that were common, which were actually reasonably priced, and more opportunities in general for six stones, both of the five and especially the six star variety, but also making these tier five class catalyst fragment crystals that are such a ripoff selectors. Things that give you 100% choice, not chance. We want choice over chance on this channel. And I also say that selfishly because I don't have minus the tier five class catalyst I got of the science for completion of Abyss. I don't have any fragments ready, but I do have a close, very close chance to take Corvus to rank three because you can see I've got everything but the tier five cosmic. And when I go to my inventory and I look at my catalyst and I scroll down here, I am less than 10,000 away. And that may seem like I'm still really far off, but you compare it to some of their classes, like Mutant, I have 1,800 fragments total. Compare that to 35,000, right? So over 30 times the amount. Kabam's got to come up with the plan or else they're going to continue to have people get burnt out, sell their accounts. I've had people who tell me, I love the game again because I sold my whale account that I spent 30, 40, $50,000 on and then just made a low spend or even free to play account, started from the beginning. Now I'm not spending much money at all because I'm not in the rat race of prestige and I'm having fun fighting with my three stars again or four stars again or five stars again. So that's what some people did. They're, they're not gonna walk away from the game altogether. They just feel like they beat it. So now let's start over. Let's see how fast we can clear it with our skills and our knowledge and the much more improved items that you can get for progression now than you could especially a couple years ago or even six months ago for the difference in glory and so be it. So, kabam, time to come up with the plan or else eventually people are going to just feel like they got to get off the hamster wheel and deals like today where you just leave out that player base, well, it's practically telling them unless it's special $400 days, we don't think about you. And if we don't think about you, we probably don't care about you. If we don't care about you, then we're looking for the middle class players to eventually become the upper class players and we anticipate that those upper class players, those in-game players are going to quit the game, sell their account, whatever, and that's just not as healthy for the overall uh, strength of the community.